so much, Scott. We appreciate your talents, and we appreciate the wonderful spirit of each and every one who've gathered here, sensing the presence of God. Perfect peace, beautiful peace. Today's theme truly is that, perfect peace within our hearts and our lives. As we look to that passage from the book of Mark, we find that Jesus calms the storm. We find this wonderful, metaphorical, symbolic story unfolding for the journey of our lives as we are seekers of that perfect peace. Tranquility, calm, quiet, silence, stillness. What am I talking about? That's exactly what I'm talking about, that perfect peace. The other day, I encountered someone who said to me, you know, I just wish I could get a little bit of peace. I've got some peace. I want some peace. In this world of chaos, I'm so frustrated with everything that's going on. I turn on the television. I turn on any kind of form of media and looking at it. All I find is that which is disrupting my very spirit. And I'm feeling so frustrated within. I just want some peace. Well, right now, I think there's many people who feel the same way. Maybe you also feel the same. Maybe you who are watching today are feeling that I just wish I could find that peace to be so centered in this time of chaos in our world. Well, today I'd like to offer you some secrets to finding that perfect peace that's described within the ancient truth of the scriptures. To find that perfect peace that sustains us and holds us, that reaffirms us and strengthens us. And I can tell you this that finding that perfect peace is a whole lot easier than you may think it is. For that perfect peace is right here, and it's right within each and every one of us. To understand this, we must first ask ourselves, what is this peace? Well, let me tell you this. Peace is God. God is this perfect peace. God is peace, and so we often don't think that way. We think, wait a minute, I thought God was this condemning, judging, punishing, maybe withholding kind of God who grants just according to God's own mood and that I must beseech and plead with constantly over and over again in hopes to awaken God's attention to my needs. Peace, really? So often our lack of understanding puts us in a place where we think of God in so many different ways other than the very truth of God's divine nature. God is peace. God is this peace, this serenity that reveals the calm, the harmony, the sense of oneness, the unity of this universe, that perfect rest in the midst of every storm. That's what God is. This perfect rest. And oh, right now, so many are craving that. Seeking, searching, saying, how do I find this perfect rest? begins with understanding that that which we know to be God is simply peace. This peace which is God belongs to each and every one of us. And it's part of our very spiritual nature. For whatever God is can be found within us. So if God is this perfect peace and we're created in this divine image and likeness, then the very nature of God is found in with each and every one. And we can celebrate this, remembering that we're created in this image and likeness, then instilled within us is the nature of God. Peace is there to be found. So the peace that we seek, it's not separate from God. It's not something to be found outside of our lives. We may be rushing here, rushing there, looking for this peace, but it's to be found within. And it's something that expands from within our own hearts and lives. It flourishes, it grows outward. As we acknowledge it within, it then radiates outward from our individual lives. That peace is within, God is within, so we go within. It seems like a natural process then of understanding if God is peace and God is to be found within, then that peace is within us. So go within each and every moment of your day, each and every day that you are facing challenges and the chaos of the world, each and every day when you feel like your boat on the Sea of Galilee, as we might say it metaphorically, your boat on the seas of life is being tossed to and fro. 
but know that there's a peace to be found within each and every moment and each and every day. That's something we are looking for to carry us through is found within the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of God is within you and within you and within that kingdom is the perfect peace that we're looking for. This peace has always been in you, waiting to be expressed in everything we say and everything we do. There's a lot of things within us, a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings within us that are just waiting for us to awaken to. There's love, there's grace, there's joy, there's contentment, there's forgiveness. All these wonderful things are found within. And most of all, peace, perfect peace is there found within each and every one of us, waiting for us to simply recognize it, to enter into a partnership with it, to say this peace of God, I allow it to permeate my life. I allow it to shower me with this sense of calm. I allow it to gird me up with a sense of strength. I allow it to permeate my very thoughts and my very essence that in all ways I might be experiencing the highest and best. When we have a conscious knowledge of this peace and we join it with a definite understanding of the law of mind. You know what I mean by the law of mind? I'm talking about this universal law, this universal understanding of the divine mind, God. And we connect with God, the God thoughts that we entertain and welcome within our lives. So when we have a conscious knowledge that peace is within us and to be found within us, and we connect with the very mind of God, we entertain the very thoughts of God within our life. We find this peace showering over our lives, coming over like big waves, washing away all that is with disruptive within our spirit and our life. The scripture says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Let this mind, let the mind of God be within you the same as it was in Christ Jesus. The very consciousness and awareness so no matter what we're going through, no matter what's happening in the world around us, we're just resting in this perfect peace because we recognize it, we partner with it, we express it then. We welcome this experience of that peace right here and now, and it's available to us. You need not move anything or any further, you need not go anywhere else, but right now in this moment, welcome this perfect peace, experience it. It's available to you. And here's a tip. Act as though the peace already fills your very being and you'll possess it. Just breathe. Perfect peace. Perfect peace already dwells within me. I act as if I live as if that perfect peace is there within my heart and life. And I feel that perfect rest. I sense it now. It's at the center of your soul. This peace is at the very center of your being for our lives. So let's look at this passage from Mark as it unfolds for us so beautifully in symbolism, metaphorically. Let's understand what this text is speaking to us about. It's the very story of Jesus who had been healing people and preaching to them. And he became very weary, worn out. You can imagine how exhausted he was answering questions, speaking, teaching, giving out the energy of his own heart and life. And he asked his disciples to join him. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Let's cross this Sea of Galilee. Let's take these boats and journey out and let's go to the other side. And he began the journey by simply finding his place of perfect rest by laying down in the stern of the boat. He went to sleep. While he was sleeping, a great storm rises up on the Sea of Galilee and begins to toss the boats, the boat to and fro. And everyone on board began to be afraid and filled with fear. And they called out to Jesus, Master, are you not aware that we're about to drown? And he arose and spoke the words, Peace, be still. And the storm abated. And he said unto them, O ye of little faith, don't you have any faith? Didn't you believe in the power of the spirit in you? The power of spirit in you. 
the power of perfect peace that's in you, even in the midst when you feel that you're about to drown in life's chaos. You're about to drown in all the turmoil of the world. You're about to drown in all the divisiveness energy that's going on all around us. You're feeling like you're about to drown in all these emotions and feelings. And yet you go within and you realize within you there is a power of the spirit, a perfect peace that awaits you. This text offers this phrase, let us go to the other side. Let us leave this and go to the other side. Let us leave the weariness. Let's leave this sense of, of a multitude coming at us with questions and inquiry. Let's leave this energy that seemed to be quite uh, draining and let's move to the other side. And that's the journey of our spiritual life on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's leave this chaos. Let's leave this negativity. Let's leave this division. Let's leave this stuff, this conversation that's so, so troubling of our spirit and move to the other side. Journey across the waters of consciousness. Journey across the waters that symbolize the thoughts of the world and all the choppy chaos uh, uh, feelings that are going out and words and uh, communication and instead cross over to the other side for the discovery of that perfect peace within our lives. We're leaving this chaotic world. We're leaving the choppy waves of thought that are tossing us all around. And we're resting instead in smooth sailing to the other side of perfect peace when we go within. This is why we're so big on the power of meditation in City of Light. Why we teach constantly, be still and know. We, why we emphasize over and over again the importance of centering our lives, of being aware of this moment right here and now, and to push away all other distractions and to release them. How important this is that we've just rested in this perfect peace because it restores, it renews and strengthens us. Now, this symbolically means for us to experience this peace that there's a work that we've got to do as we're moving to the other side. There is a healing we must do of the sick thoughts within ourselves. A healing that we must do of the sick thoughts that kind of bombard us, that we entertain. Thoughts of hopelessness, thoughts of lack, thoughts of failure. Thoughts of sickness, physically and emotionally. We are going to cast out that error thinking that doesn't belong to us. Because remember, we are the divine creation. We are the sons and daughters of God. We are the children of God. We are those who are created in this perfectness. So why do we allow the troubled thoughts, the turbulent thoughts of the world to create chaos in our life at any time, in any moment? It's our work to cast out and to heal all thoughts of error and all thoughts that are opposed to the wonderful divine truth within our hearts and our lives. The next key that we must understand is to quiet our thoughts. Quiet our thoughts. Here in the boat, you can imagine the conversations going on in this scene, this little scenario. Disciples screaming and yelling at each other. Hang on, the boat's being tossed. We're going to maybe drown. We're all going to, anyone got a life raft? Uh, you, know, you can imagine the conversations as they're thinking, how are we going to survive? And all that chaos going on. And Jesus says, be still. Peace. Be still. Those disciples really are wonderful metaphors for the turbulent thoughts in the boat of our life and all the crazy chaos that's going on. And we've just got to stop and say, peace be still. We've got to say, I need to quiet this thought process that's going on in my head, this monkey mind, this chatter that's going on over and over again. I need to take charge and I need to say, peace, be still. Because we have to understand that we're not created to live in a chaotic world. Yes, we are in the world, but we're not of the world. We're in this world, but we're not of this world, for we were created to understand how to have smooth sailing, even in the choppiest of seas. How to cross over to the other side, shall we say, with great ease. Having a sailing experience that's truly with the wind of the power of God, 
not the winds of chaos. We need to ask ourselves, why were we thinking this chaotic stuff in the first place? Why are we entertaining it? Have we forgotten the power of the Spirit at work within our lives? The power of God at work within you to bring perfect peace and calm? Because I firmly believe that as we hold perfect peace in consciousness, I am at peace. We radiate that and we impact the world around us and we change the world around us. We cannot allow these waves of thought to come in from the outer, the exterior, and dominate our lives. So why then are we allowing the conversation? Why are we allowing our disciples, our thoughts in our boat to disrupt our day? Instead, we speak these words, peace be still. This is the next key that we are speaking, we are constantly giving voice to this very concept of peace. And we're saying over and over again in all situations, be still, be still, be still, be still. To all these disruptive thoughts, to the negative energies that want to come around us, to the divisiveness in the world that wants to constantly be where unity is attacked and trying to be destroyed, where there is all this division around us. Well, we understand the truth that man and women, man and womankind, all have authority over all of our emotions. We have authority. So we speak the words that Jesus spoke. This story is our story. And in it, we're invited to be Jesus in the boat of life. And to speak these words, peace I speak, peace I speak. Be still, be still. It says that Jesus awoke and he rebuked the waves. You see, this is what we need to do in life. We need to wake up. Wake up. You need not be tossed to and fro. You need not be fair, living in fear that you're drowning in what's going on in the world around you. But instead, you speak up. You awaken to this and you rebuke the waves. You rebuke the wind. You rebuke all of this chaotic world around you. You awaken to this power within and you begin to speak words of peace over and over again, saying, I pronounce peace. Everything be still and know this. Everything be silenced. Every doubting, stress-filled, fear-based thought. Be still because peace is here. <coughs> peace is reigning in my life. And I live from that perspective. What a difference it is when we wake up each and every day and say, this is the day the Lord hath made, I will be at peace. I will rejoice. I will be glad. I will be still. I will know that perfect peace is leading and guiding and directing my every footstep. And I rest in that perfect peace. Now those waves beating against our boat really represent those turbulent thought waves which come against us where Jesus speaks out and with such authority and such confidence, peace be still. I invite you to do the same. Speak out in authority. Speak out in confidence to every situation that comes against you that may feel like turbulent waves. And you just simply say, peace be still. Speak these words wherever discord appears. Speak these words wherever chaos begins to rise. Speak these words against any kind of negative energies that want to rise in around you. Do not let them arise into your thought and take away or rob you of this perfect peace. For you are fully aware of this power of the spirit within you. Because God is peace and because God is in you, the peace of God must be in you. So let's wake up to it and celebrate it. So if you're searching for peace today, let me review these keys for finding peace within our life. First, know that God is peace. Second, know that God within is there within us and that's where perfect peace resides. And we need to recognize it. We need to express it. We need to partner with this wonderful spirit, power, and presence. We need to quiet our thoughts. We need to be at all times 
just quieting that chaotic conversation that wants to bombard our thought process. And lastly, speak the words of peace. Be the peacemaker in the world. I love this passage that invites us to understand, blessed are the peacemakers, happy are those. Peacemakers are those that speak the words of peace at all times, speak the words of calm. Have you ever encountered those people that when they're in, you're in conversation with them, they make you feel at peace? They're the peacemakers. I invite each and every one of us to embrace that thought. I want to be a peacemaker. Let my words, let the essence and spirit of me be that which brings peace to one another, to my home, to my family, to my neighbors, to my workforce, to the people who are around me, that at all times they may experience that perfect peace, the power and presence of God, the spirit within. I invite you today to cross over to the other side to leave the weariness and to leave all the chaos, to leave the multitudes of thoughts that are out there and journey across the waters to the other side where all is peace and all is still within. Peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the divine source, coming and flowing outward from within in all ways and all times. Today, perfect peace is ours. Would you join me in claiming it? Would you join with me in living it? Would you join with me in speaking it? Amen.